Hey guys, no friends here. Right, this is part two of the Long Wolf series. Um, I'm doing this series. I know it's, I know I should have said that in the first one, but I am. Right. So yeah, if you haven't watched the first one, I put it up in the corner up here. And up in the corner, there will be a poll of what would you do if you were a Long Wolf? What would you pack? Okay. Right. This one here is going to be about food. As I said, I'm going to show you the tricks I learned. I've learned over the years of being on my own and being basically a lone wolf. Right, to start off with, I think now, because I've only just recently had this in the last couple of years, is a zebra bait pot. It does every single thing. Yeah, you've got your lid, you've got your pot. Plus, I personally use this piece as a fire pan. So, you've got this and it works, in my opinion. It's fantastic, it's brilliant. So, I would personally recommend this to anybody if they're a lone wolf because all right, it might be bite big, it might be bulky, it might be weigh a bit of weight, but it is good because you can pour your water in it, you can cook your food in it, everything. Yeah. But the reason I'm saying my this one is because of my food right here. It's the food I recommend. I do recommend if you do if you can carry it, carry some split peas. And some rice because they they will make a good meal. It might not be appetizing, it might not look nice, but it will make a good meal. It will fill you up if you're a long wolf. It's quicker to cook because those two take exactly the same time together. But if you haven't got that time for them to boil, I would recommend personally is some different types of couscous. Couscous to me is fantastic. Yeah, because basically it does so many things. You can take like, that's one portion of couscous. Yeah, you could boil it, put the water in there, you could boil it, and then there's this little part here, what you call what I call my frying pan, call the custard, uh, call the pour the couscous in, then pour some water in it, put the lid on, and it's set. While that's doing that, you can maintain some more water, or you can maintain a Fill in some water, or you can put your tarpaulin up, or you can do anything and everything. Yeah, that's the reason why I recommend this because you can do two jobs at once. You can boil water, you can cook, it, you can basically leave your food to rest if you have couscous. And couscous takes seconds to um, cook, it doesn't really cook, it just basically fluffs up and it's nice to eat and it will fill you up and it is a filling food. Yeah, as well as, I'm not sorry, excuse me, I do recommend some of this Idaho mash. Or some any instant mash, really. Yeah, this is too big. This, this pocket here is, if I remember rightly, I think this is three portions. Yes, it serves three people. So that's a good meal. Not on its you, you might want to eat it on its own, it's up to do with you. It's something like that. That to me will be perfect because same again, pour your water, put it in that small, put your portion into that. What I call my frying pan. Yeah, put the lid on it, put the water on, of course, mix it around, put the lid on, leave it, and then do other things. Or doing that, then you can fill up your big pot, you can fill up your pot again, and then you can do your other parts. Yeah, it's so many other things, like even tuna packet, they're good to have. Um, me, I've found, just recently found this corned beef. This is fantastic. This is a five. Um, this is 130 gram, but that's net weight. So that's roughly, I think you're looking at about maybe 100 grams of corned beef. But that's meat. Yeah. It, all right. It's heavy. It's bulky. It's a tin. Don't get me wrong. But that's protein still. Yeah. And that's small enough for us on our own. Yeah. Get some jerky. This is salmon jerky, as you can see. Or get some beef jerky. Get some salmon jerky. Get whatever jerky you like. What's best? Or you remember if you're a long wolf, eat what you like. Yeah, that and that to me is a meal. That and that is a meal. Um, that and that's not a meal because that's um, what do you call it? Pizza sauce, you know, pizza sauce. So that's like, yeah, <laughs> we won't go into that. Get yourself some of these pepperonis, they're good. As a, single person, as a single person, yeah, get some dried cured ham. I'm going to be doing a video soon coming up 
of how I do some salt ham. Oh, I call it gallon, but everybody calls it ham. So yeah, that's some of your songs of that. Like this is like this. Alright, this is out. This they say best before the first, you know, eighteen. But it's cured, so it's not. It's because they have to protect themselves. Yeah. Um, what else? I've got a one of these there. Yeah. It's just things like that. Like if you've got to dehydrate, like dehydrate some food, but make sure it. I don't put the squash. It doesn't take long to cook. If you're a lone wolf, you're on quick, fast, simple, and easy food. Because if you don't have fast, quick, easy, simple food, you're gonna, your mind's going to wander. You need to keep your mind on more than two jobs ahead. You're cooking something, you need to make sure you, you put your tarp up. If your tarp's up, make sure you've got water. If, you, if you've got your water, make sure your water's filled. It's just everything like that. So that's one thing I do recommend to people. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because it's over six minutes. Please tell me what you think. If I'm being sad, please let me know if I'm being sad or not. But this is the Long Wolf series, and so please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.